Hey guys, it's me again with the truck. It's a nice morning here in Valdosta, Georgia. As you have seen in the picture, um, we had a problem, like a big problem with the truck. Because what happens is once you get these lights, it's you can't move the truck. That's our engine. So what happened is we got this washed yesterday. Uh, pressure washed, which, you know, I don't recommend a lot of people doing, but we had an EGR leak before, so it was all sooty and black. And, uh, you know, it looks much better now. So, and see, they didn't wash the electronics that much, but um, they still got my sensors, some of them. So what I end up doing is just pulling the sensor out, um, spray some brake cleaner in the actual sensor, and, you know, the, the harness, so the actual sensor itself and the connector, you spray it there so it dispenses water and you connect it back up. But the problem with this, basically it was showing my ABS um, computer is bad, my everything, was so much bad stuff in there, ABS computer, brake pressure, zero, whatever. So on this truck here, um, you don't have a brake, brake switch in the actual pedal. Your pedal goes right through here and it just pressurizes the cylinder which pressurizes the thing at the bottom which is your electronic brakes so this brake cylinder doesn't do anything other than just transferring your pressure from the brake pedal to the brake box on the bottom of the truck so this right here is your brake pressure or brake pedal sensor what happened with mine so all these codes were caused just by this it had the, uh, the gasket, this gasket here, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, I was kind of sticking out, so you have to kind of tuck it in. See like this here, none of, none of the, they all have gaskets on them, they never stick out. This one here was sticking out a bit, and it was causing the connector to disconnect while driving because it was putting pressure on it. Because a piece of rubber was sticking out right between here, so it was kind of separating the connector. So when you would drive, it would just uh, move a bit and then start throwing your codes. So all that was, was this connector. Because what happens is when it just starts to jiggle back and forth, um, ABS module goes nuts. And your whole truck goes nuts. It's just because what it does, it just don't, wants to stop because things you got no brakes. Just because of this one connector and this rubber piece, there's always a rubber piece somewhere that makes things worse. So that's what happens. Just make sure you check that before you do anything else. I even bought, I even bought a sensor because we had a tire blow up before. And I had to buy a sensor. Because I thought it's a sensor on the wheel. No, it's not. It's this. It was just this connector because I replaced this block before. I replaced this um, master cylinder before. And I've connected this. I've never th thought about having a gasket stick. I thought it just sticks out just by, by, a bit of, by itself, you know. No, it has to go completely inside. So what I did is I put it halfway in and I just kind of tucked the gasket in and I just connected it all together. And then the problem disappeared. So that's it for the brake problems. And uh, in the next video, I'll show you how to check codes on, the, on this truck without the scanner.